Hello, everybody. How are you, my friends? It's Morgan, and I have an assistant today. This is my daughter, Faye. Hello. And she is going to be helping me with our feeling tubes because our feeling tubes activity has a very interactive nature. So today, when we get ready to talk about feelings today, I want to remind everybody that we all experience different feelings at different times, and that's normal and it's okay. In fact, the more we open up and talk about these feelings, the better we can feel. If we bottle up our feelings and we hold them inside and we don't talk about them, sometimes this can make us feel sick. You might get a headache or you might get a tummy ache. So it's really important that you let your feelings out in a safe and fun activity or you find an important adult or friend that you feel comfortable sharing your feelings with. Because I don't want any of my friends to feel sick because they're holding their feelings in. So to help start our stories about feelings, I've got a monster story to help me. This is called The Color Monster, and it's a pop-up book about feelings by Anna Lienas. Okay, let's get ready. Are you excited to hear my story? Here we go. This is my friend, the color monster. Today he's feeling all mixed up, but he doesn't understand why. Look at you, monster, you're a mess. On the page right here is a little girl and she has her hands on her hips and she's frowning a little bit. And in the middle of this page is a pop-up of a monster and he is bright and colorful with red, yellow, green, blue, and black feeling colored all over him. You've jumbled up all of your feelings and all of your colors too, monster. Oh my goodness. There's a swirl with all the different colors again. Red, green, yellow, blue, and black. All swirling across this page. And the little monster is peeking up over the edge of the page. I know, says the little girl. You can separate your feelings and put each one in its own jar. If you'd like, I can help you. And in this picture, there's a little girl offering by extending her hand to help out because this feelings monster needs to learn about all the different feelings that he's feeling that are all mixed up. So there is a picture of a number of different jars. Today, we'll be using tubes for our activity. Whoa, what is this feeling? This is happiness. It shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. When you're happy, you might laugh, jump, dance, or play. You might want to share your feelings with everyone. In this picture, our yellow monster has a big smile on his face. Can you show me your smiles, friends? Do look, oh, that's beautiful. The biggest smiles I can see. I love it. The little girl and the monster are bright yellow and they're smiling at you because you're smiling at us. Beautiful smiles. Oh no, this is sadness. It's gentle and blue like a rainy day. When you're sad, you might want to cry or be alone. Can you guys show me your sad face like my blue monster here? Oh, look at those frowns. They're perfectly sad. And here is my blue monster and his sad face. And there's raindrops and clouds in this picture and even very special drops that are coming down from these clouds on my page because sadness is very blue. Yes. Oh, red. This is anger. It blazes bright red. And when you're angry, you might want to stomp your feet. It's not fair. Show me your angry faces. Oh, those are good angry faces, guys. Keep showing me them. Sometimes your eyes get crunchy or your mouth goes like this. Good job. My red monster has a very big red angry face. Oh, black. This is fear. It hides in the black shadows. My, my monster is hiding right here amidst these trees. When you're afraid, you might feel tiny and helpless. Fear makes it hard to be brave. 
Can you guys show me a fearful face or a scared face? <gasps> show me those faces, guys. Oh, I see them. Excellent job. You can see that my monster here, he's very dark and very black and very afraid in this black forest. <gasps> this is calm. My friend here is bright green. He's as light as a green leaf. He floats in the wind on a hammock. And when you're calm, you breathe deeply and slowly and you feel at peace. Can you show me a calm, relaxed face? Ah, that's right, my friends. Oh, you look so relaxed. It looks like you're even falling asleep. Just like my monster here who's resting in the green trees on his hammock, calm and content. There we go. Look at, he's so calm. I think he's actually asleep. Now, all of your feelings are in the right places now. They're much easier to understand when they're not all mixed up. Blue, red, black, green, and yellow, all different feelings. On this picture, my monster is all different colors and he has little bottles that show each of the colors. Blue for sadness, red for anger, black for fear or being scared, calm, and yellow for happiness. And in each of these jars is the color that we're talking about. So here's green for calm. And what we're going to do today in our activity is make our own feelings tubes, but there's one more. Should I turn the page? Okay, let's see what it could be. Oh, but wait, there's one more feeling left over. What could it be? This one is bright pink and has hearts all around it. I think it's love love and more happiness because I love having you here with me today, my friends. Are you ready to do the activity now that we've learned about all of our different feelings from my feelings monster? Excellent. Now everybody got a special package in the mail and it came with a special sheet for mummies and daddies and big girls and big boys and all my friends to learn about what we need for our activity. Now, I need you to get your cardboard tube and I need you to draw a feelings face on your tube today. That's right, find your tubes, my friends. Sometimes you might have needed to go get another one because sometimes you wanna do more than one feeling. There are lots of tubes that we use. There we go. So what I need you to find is a marker. Now, I think for my feelings tube today, I'm going to do a silly face. You can do any feeling you'd like to do for yours. You can do an angry face, just like we practiced, or a sad face. You can do a happy face. You can do whatever face you'd like, because this is a feelings tube. So I'm going to do a silly face. And on my silly face, I'm going to draw some funny eyes. These eyeballs that I'm drawing are going to be all over the place. I've drawn one eye looking up and one eye look looking down. He is a very silly friend. And then I'm gonna draw a silly mouth. And on this silly mouth, I'm going to have his tongue sticking out. There we go. He's sticking his tongue out at me. He's definitely silly. Now for each of you, my friends, that is playing with me today, you can draw more with different colors on yours. Your tube can be whatever you'd like it to be. You can draw some silly hairdos. So I'll draw mine like he has curly clown hair. There we go. Excellent. He's got curly clown hair now. And maybe we'll even draw a funny little nose, very, very purple in the center of his face. There we go, my friends. How are your tubes coming along? Is everybody working hard on their tubes? Excellent job. I'm going to put my tube down and I'm going to show you the next important part of making this activity together. You got two very special packages of powdered dye. This is one special way to make colors when you're doing the feelings tubes. Another special way is to use food coloring that's a liquid food coloring. And this is what they look like, my friends. Liquid food coloring sometimes comes in a little squirty tube like this. And these little squirty tubes are filled with different colors. 
So for your special one that came with your special present from my friends, you might have a gold color or a silver color. I've already mixed the silver one. This is what it looks like when you mix it up with some water. You take the powder and you mix it with water. But today we're going to mix the gold one together. So I'm going to take my powdered dye. I'm going to open it up carefully. And if you have an adult helper today, you can ask your helper to open the bag for you. And once you've opened the bag, you're going to pour it into your container because we're going to add water to it so that we can make the volcano. So for this one, I've put my powder inside my cup and a tiny bit of water. You don't need a lot, my friends. In fact, that's the best part is, is the little water that you use, the more concentrated and bright the color will be when you pour it in. So that's what I do. I just stir it up and you can see that the color is a nice bright gold and it's perfectly drippable to go inside my feelings tube. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Now, one of the neat things I want you to do when you're mixing it up, that's right, guys, I see everybody taking their turns mixing it up, is think about if there's a certain feeling that you're going to name for your feelings tube. So a gold one, I think, is perfect for my silly face today. I definitely think a silly face would have gold bright colors for their volcano. So let's finish mixing them up. I can see lots of my friends are working hard. Great job, helpers. Excellent. Now, one of the reasons why we like to talk to people about our feelings is not just because our tummies might hurt, but because it actually helps mummies and daddies know if we need any help with anything, or if you need help from someone like me, a child life specialist who likes to help kids with all their big feelings, big and small feelings matter. I want to know when you're happy. I want to know when you're sad. I especially want to know when you're feeling afraid of something. And for some friends, that might be something as simple as the dark. And for other friends, it might be something about your medical experience at the hospital. And sometimes kids are even afraid of going to the hospital. So it's important to talk about those feelings with your family, with your friends, with your doctor, with your helpers like me, a child life specialist. It's just really important that we share those feelings, just like the feelings monster did with our friend in the story. So if you've mixed up your colors, I can see everybody's doing a fantastic job. Mummy helpers are pouring water. I see other helpers are stirring. Good job, Emmy and Sammy. Serge, I can see the kids are doing a fantastic job getting everything ready. All right, Leslie, are you guys ready too? Because the next part is the cool part. This is baking soda. And sometimes you might bake with it, but not today. Today, we're doing something very special with our baking soda. We're going to put it inside our feelings tube with our special colorful dye that we made. And we're going to have a big surprise. I see everybody's getting their trays ready. They're mixing their colors so perfectly. So I'm actually going to do something very special right now, guys. And I'm going to turn my computer so that you can see what I've set up already. And Faye, my daughter, is helping me with this part. So we are all set up. So I'm going to take my tube and I want you to take your tube, guys. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it on a tray because when we do the special feelings volcanoes, you need a tray to help protect you from the explosion. Here's my silly face. And these are all my other feelings, guys. I've got mad and sad and scared. And I even have, there we go, a spot right here for my silly guy. Let's make sure he fits on my tray. There we go. I hope everybody can see my all my characters. Now, what I need you to do, my friends, is you need to put a table or a spoon. And I want you to take a big scoop and put it inside the tube you made, just like that. We're going to put two tablespoons. So that's two big scoops. There we go. Excellent job, guys. Like Just like that. Is everybody handling it okay? And you've got it on your tray? That's right. You just put it right at the top and you pour it in. Once we've done our baking soda, and I'll put that out of the way, my friends, we'll take that wonderful and you can pour it on top. If you want, you can use other tubes too that you might have made at your house. That's fine. You can use as many tubes as you'd like today. 
here we go. I'm going to pour my special powder dye in here. This is a lovely gold color. It's going to be a lot of fun to see what happens. So when we let our feelings out, remember, my friends, it helps our body to feel better. In fact, the more we share our feelings and the more we learn about how to identify our feelings, the easier it is for us to seek out help if we need it or for moms and dads and adults in our lives to make sure that we have the things that we need to be and feel successful at school, at the hospital, and with our friends. All sorts of different things, even at night when we're getting ready for bed. We want to be able to talk about our feelings and be and feel successful at bedtime. Let's see, how's everybody doing with their tubes? Are they on your trays, my friends? Are they getting their beautiful baking soda inserted inside? Because the next part after that is the messy, fun part that I know you're all going to love. Okay, let's make sure everybody's ready. Do you guys want to do a thumbs up when you're ready for the next part? Show me those thumbs. Oh, I see some thumbs. Excellent job. So Faye and I have, we've actually put it in a different bottle, but this is vinegar. And vinegar is certainly a lovely topping for fish and chips but it's also a very special part of our experiment and our fun feelings tubes today. So when we take our vinegar, we're actually gonna pour it over top. And I have two, just in case we wanna do a really big cup. I need to get both of them ready. And I wanna see if you guys are ready with your vinegar too. And I'm gonna show you with my tray, Faye and I will do it together. We're gonna to pour it. And hopefully you'll get to see the amazing experiment happen right before your eyes. Each color is coming out one after the other. There we go. How's it going, my friends? We'll see if we can get it to do it again. Sometimes if there's a little bit more, you can watch it more than once. There we go. All the colors of the rainbow are exploding. Wonderful job, my friends. I can see. Beautiful. You can reload it again, my friends, if you want. You can put more in if you'd like, and you can do that again. And each of those colors is represented by a little finger and sadness and joy and happiness. All sorts of different feelings here because it's so important that we talk about our feelings. And no matter what feeling that you're feeling, you can share. Now I have a song for everybody. Do you guys know that if you're happy and you know it song? I bet you do. And in the happy and you know it song, I know that there's actions that everybody is aware of. Now I'm gonna turn it back towards me and we get to sing a song together. Are you ready? Let me move this up so you can see me. Hi, everyone. Okay, thank you, Faye, for helping me. All right, guys, I will sing while you do your chemistry, okay? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Do you guys know this song? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Now, what about when you're angry? What do we do when we're angry in this song? Do we stomp our feet? Yes. Show me the angry face. Let's sing it angry. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. Oh, I can see you moving your bodies. If you're angry and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're angry and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're sad and you know it, show me the sad face. Cry boo hoo, boo hoo. If you're sad and you know it, cry boo hoo, boo hoo. If you're sad and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're sad and you know it, cry boo hoo, boo hoo. But if you're silly and you know it, cry hooray, hooray! Show me, guys. If you're silly and you know it, cry hooray. Hooray! If you're silly and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're silly and you know it, cry hooray. Hooray! 
And I say hooray to you, my friends. You've all done amazing Feelings Volcano tubes today. And I can see those tubes are exploding still. Amazing job, my friends. Keep doing your Feelings Volcanoes. And I want you to make sure that you learn all the different feelings that you're feeling and how they feel in your body. Emmy and Sammy, I can see your volcano exploded again. Wonderful work today, my friends. Now, I know that we have to go back to the adult part of this, but I want you to know that there's lots of fun activities for us to do tomorrow. And I hope that you can come back and join me tomorrow for another fun activity where we get to make a craft together. Will you join me tomorrow, my friends? Excellent job. Now I wanna thank everybody for coming. I wanna thank all my friends that have already been talking. And I wanna thank all the people that helped us arrange and organize all of this and send out your special kits to you, my friends, because we couldn't have done this without them. So let's do a big round of applause for all the people that helped us, guys. Can you help me? Can you do a big clap for them? Yay! Thank you everybody for including child life in this amazing day today. And I hope you had fun doing the feelings tubes. Thumbs up to all my friends and thank you so much everyone for coming and joining me today. I'm gonna say bye. I know we have to get back to the big conference. Thanks everyone. Bye guys. I miss you all. I hope to see you someday soon. <laughs>